Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and wow, I am so sick. But, you know, at least I'm able to get my eyes to stop watering for a little while <laughs> in the meantime. Guys, have you picked up the latest DC comic called Shade, The Changing Girl? We're on issue one here, and I picked this up only because it's the number one. I didn't know anything about this going into it, and I started reading it, and I actually started to get angry. This is a really messed up book in the very beginning, at the very least. In fact, more than halfway through it, when it all comes down to it. We start off with a girl, Megan, who is dead. <laughs> She's essentially dead. And there are little spirits that are messing around with her. And, and they actually state at one point, push whatever is left of her aside. You know, get it out so that I can enter. And it's some kind of avian creature, it's, it's, it's weird, it's from another planet, different dimension, something. And she is able to take over this body. Now, Loma is the name of this creature that takes over her, but she has to take the body, the name, the identity, everything of this girl, Megan. Now, her parents, uh, the bills are already way past due, uh, the house is probably about to be foreclosed on, all sorts of crazy things, and they've given up on the door. They've already signed off for the plug to be pulled, as it's called, because she's brain dead. We don't know what happened to her, and this is actually a really sad thing. I'm thinking the whole time, oh my god, I I've got kids, and, you know, reading something like this, you know, you, you don't want something bad to happen to your kids. They find a really good way to twist that around. And to make it, I guess, okay, this girl Megan was actually a terror, and not a regular terror. You really have to read the comic to understand exactly what it is I'm talking about. She was horrible. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not much of a removal from standard belief that there'd be some people who wouldn't exactly want her back. Yeah, at the very end, you get to find out how she died-ish in her previous incarnation. You also get to find out just a little bit about Loma herself, the creature who took over her body, and how hopefully she's going to be able to make right all the things that Megan had screwed up in her life. It is going to be a lot about picking up the pieces because she is in this body of this terror of a girl, and you really got to understand how terrible she was. Honestly, I don't think I could give it justice. Guys, I, as I mentioned, was very upset reading the beginning of this comic. I thought I was just going to throw it out. I was really that bothered by reading it. And then they completely switched me over to their side. Impressive as impressive gets. I really like this comic. I do want to see where this goes. If you're looking for something new... In one of the top two, you know, DC and Marvel, this is DC's Young Animals. You get a chance, pick up this comic, give it a thumb through. I think that you might like it. It's, it's new. DC, I've always felt, was willing to go that extra mile for the disturbing. And they don't really disappoint in this one. But, again, it just feels so organic. It's great. Guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, you need to grab this comic. I'll dismiss class so you can do that.